Hey everybody. How are you? <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone. Cindy A. Lewis here. Let me check my Wi-Fi. That seems to have. There we go. Hopefully that's better. It was blue a while ago and now it's blue again. So anyway, how are you? I missed you last week. It was a very busy week in Colorado for work. I hope you enjoyed the wrap-up on Friday. I've been thinking of doing a wrap-up of the week. In case you missed something that you would want to uh, watch, then you have the link right there. So tell me what you think about that. Um, let's see. There we go. It's starting now. Rochelle, sorry to hear about your leg. Oh my goodness. I hope it gets better quick and that blood clot dissolves. Just praying it does really fast. Sabrina, good to see you. I've missed you. I hope you're doing good. Karen, hey, Nettie, Denise, Hope, Tammy, you made it. Jersey Gypsy was on early. Let's see, is Pam on today? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, something went wrong. Well, that's not good. Let's try again. Uh-huh. Okay, let me try to reload. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Has anybody got me here? Or was it, is it my Wi-Fi? I don't know. All right. It says I'm live. There we go. Yay! Okay. Okay, you guys stop. Anybody? Have you spotted one of the animals? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, Karen. Oh no, Sabrina got Hondo, I guess. Is that right? Hey, Bill. Oh, okay, is anybody getting the loud cat? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so who was it got? Who was it got? Oh my, everything's falling. All right, Hondo. Sabrina, did you get Hondo first? Or I think it was Sabrina got Hondo first. Is that right? Oh, you can hear them. Oh my gosh. It's like, okay, stop, stop. Oh. Hi, Terry Lynn, you can type. Mm. Okay, Nettie, there you go. All right, so Sabrina gets a, oh my goodness. Sabrina gets a card from Hondo and Nettie gets a card from Leo. Oh, well, that's that. <laughs> Terry Lynn, good to see you back. I'm so glad. Kimberly, hey. Ah, is anybody hot? I just have to know. So last, just in the last hour, I wanted to get the fountain out for my husband to surprise him because we hadn't um, been able to put it out because the, the little air, what is it called? Anyway, it was out. So um, <clears throat> the pump. So got that. And then, um, it was so hot. I mean, it's like, I can't, I just like glistening all over the place. And so came in and it's like in my eyes and everything. And I'm just, I don't even know. So I think it was, it's just too hot. It was said 95 feels like 109. Okay. Oh, crazy. Today's your son's birthday, Nettie. Happy birthday to your son. Hey, Kat. Good to see you. Thanks for the hugs. Oh, hey, Lori. Okay. You've got to stop. you got to stop. Or do you want to see him? Okay. 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 Come here. Okay. Here he is. This is not crafts, but this is Leo. 
And here comes Hondo. <laughs> Kevin's gone. He's on a mission trip. He's on his way home. But, so I've got the pets. I've got the pets. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, so anyway, let's just jump right in. Shh. Okay, you need to behave. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> are we going to get anything done? All right, tonight, let's do uh, emojis that are, I don't know, how about orange? We never do orange, right? Let's do orange. Let's do orange. All right. Tammy, it's your birthday. Okay, so is anybody else's birthday? This is why it's not as fun to watch the replay, huh, Sabrina? Because <laughs> you don't get all of this attention. Uh, anyways. You pull, I guess. I just don't even know. Anyway, so I sing happy birthday. Bless you, Tammy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tammy. Happy birthday to you. And Leo says happy birthday. <laughs> oh, I hope it's a great birthday. And I hope you keep celebrating and celebrating and celebrating. Okay, so now it's telling me I have to sign in again. And verify that it's me. Amazing. Because I've been chatting already. Okay. So, we're having fun with the August um, uh, month of Craft Your Stash. It's been so awesome. And um, I have really enjoyed so far. And, Leo, you have to stop, buddy. No one wants to hear you the whole time. All right. Uh, I hope my song came through because since it made me sign in, I lost the chat and stuff. I only have part of it, so I don't know. Is Donna on? Yay, Donna! Good to see you, hon. Did you get all moved? Yay! Okay, so I don't know if, Tammy, if you got your song, let me know if you got your song. Please stop. So we're doing orange today. Everybody got that? Okay, looks like it. Hey, Carla! Yeah, you got Leo and Hondo. <laughs> okay, you did get it. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do it again. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, you got to stop, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so um, I am going to gift some memberships tonight. It's a new month, and I can gift five right now. So here we go. I hope that you will join my membership on YouTube. It will be awesome. Oh, there's some people I don't even know who they are. Just got a membership. Okay, awesome, awesome. Welcome, let's see who it is. Rena, Texicana, Asia, Michelle, and Stacy. Congratulations. Okay, you gotta stop, Leo. You're Oh, my God. He's tearing my shirt. Let go. Let go. Let go. It's like having children. <laughs> okay. I'm fixing to lock him out. <laughs> he doesn't stop. Ah, oh, goodness. All right. You're all moved. Good. All right. So, um, thank you for watching tonight. We're going to have some fun with some stencils and some various mediums. I am very excited to, um, to do this with you. It's really fun to take something that's really simple and just make um, a, a background that you can use for just about anything. For instance, if you wanted to, you could put these in your junk journals, you could use them as backgrounds for cards or even a scrapbook page. You could use them to end up making some tags or be, you know, whatever you'd like. So um, it's a really fun way to do it. It's just 
so super simple. And I just wanted to use some different mediums so that you could see. Oh, that's good, Nettie. Um, how to, you know, just some fun things. Just doing something fun. But yet, you know, sometimes it turns out super, super elegant. All right, let's see if we can get... Oh, he's back. <laughs> Stop, Leo. All right, so... I am going to attempt to do this tonight. Am I forgetting anything? Super chat, super stickers, they're all there. I appreciate you all so much. And, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope that you enjoy the memberships. Memberships are fun. Check out the community tab. There's a membership tab. There's all kinds of fun perks there. And I, I post all kinds of, um, you know, things for first looks for memberships and stuff like that. So there's different tiers that you can re-up for, but it puts you in the um, low tier, which is the encourager. You get a special badge, you get, um, it denotes, changes color denoting how long you've been a member, um, that kind of thing. So it's really fun. Plus there's special emojis that only members have access to. So those are fun too. If anybody is a member that's on, if you could post a, a emoji that's from your list, it would be fun to see the one you pick. And um, let's jump into this. If we can keep the cat and the dog from knocking over the tripod, we'll be doing really, really well. You got your stamps today? Awesome, Rochelle. Oh, and I do want to let you know, I do have some things I still need to melt out. I got some of it melt out before I uh, left. Um, and I didn't get it all mailed out. So it's been a whirlwind the last, well, this whole summer really has been like, I don't even know where it's gone. It started out and now it's almost over. <laughs> Does anybody else feel that? Oh, Kimberly, thank you. I like that one. Uh, yes, cute. Okay. Terry Lynn, I love you. Okay. So I'm going to switch the screen. And next week, I wanted to tell you also that um, Jovi is going to join us next week, and we'll be promoting it. We're going to be promoting her bird kit. I've done a couple things with it already, but we're going to do some clusters, and you're going to get to meet her and ask her questions and everything. Do any of you already follow Jovi, Creating with Jovi? Okay. Is Denise Shaw on? I didn't see. Hey, Bill. Hey, Tina. You broke your toe. Oh, no. Also, I'm going to be uh, sharing, um, you know, the different entries from you all for your, um, yeah, Yorkie lover. I wish he did. No, he has his own mind about things. Um, hey, Gladys. Yeah, so I'll be sharing the entries. Um, I've, I've got to get them all downloaded. And I thank everybody for sending them in. You got your stickers, Nettie? Awesome. Oh, good. Oh, you were having some help. I'm glad you're back. Yeah. Hi, Quilty. You received your hidden giveaway. Oh, yay. Did anybody enter the hidden giveaway this month yet? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I've got a um, just a sheet uh, out of a book. This is out of a dictionary. This is one of my favorite. Let me zoom in just a little. Okay, let me scoot it up. All right, so the first one I wanted to do is just basic. I just wanted to do some gesso on here. And I wanted to let you know too that um, I got my craft club. Um, my kit that comes every month from Crafters Companion and it has shimmer ink pad techniques in it, but um, it also had some new stencils in it, which I wanted to show you. And I thought, well, we could play with some of that too. So the stencils are a real nice size and they had some flowers, which I think will be fun to use. And they had these geometric shapes and kind of flowery. And then some hearts, which I thought would be fun too. But you don't have to have anything particular um, to 
butterfly. I think I did. I, I have to respond to all of them. Being out of town just throws me so off um, from catching up with everything. I think I did. I need to go look. I will respond to everyone. I just haven't gotten them all. Okay. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is gesso. Now you don't have to do gesso, but I do have a video on how you can um, make your own gesso if you want to. So that's always a fun option too. You can make it as thick or as thin as you like. Now gesso is a primer. This is just basics uh, acrylic gesso. It can be mixed with paint, which we're going to do in just a minute. I just use a little spatula. Um, this is an offset one. This is what I use it for. It comes in a Dollar Tree with three in it, so which is nice. And I'm just gonna grab some out of here on the end here. And I'm just gonna hold this and we're just gonna put it all over this paper. Now, one thing that you can do too is if you wanna use uh, like watercolor paper because um, it will hold anything that's wet better than just regular paper. So we're just going to use this right now. And I do have like a water bath over here, just a tub of water so that I can rinse off everything. And you're probably thinking, okay, so what do you use it for? Well, one thing is to use it for um, a junk journal page, a background, you can add to it, you can um, embellish it more. It can be the back of what you're trying to, what theme you're trying to come um, or get across. And he's still whining, you guys. He's still whining over here. Now this is pretty thick, so I don't know how well it's gonna look, but we'll see. I got a lot on here. Maybe going under a little bit, but we'll see. But it's really fun to make these and easy. And it doesn't take too much time. All right, so this is the whole thing. And I didn't put my gloves on, but I really could have because <laughs> I'm going to have color for sure. Oh, good, good. All right. Yes. Does anybody have cool weather? I just have to know. All right. So we're going to pull this off really easy. Oh, it looks good. All right, look at that. That is pretty. And that's a lot of gesso there. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't know, am I gonna use this one again? I don't know. We'll put it in the water for now. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do some gesso with some paint. Oh yeah, you should use it. Okay, so this one we're just going to set aside. That's all we're going to do with that one. Let it dry. Okay, so now we need another sheet. I'm going to just take my gesso and put a little bit on here. It's pretty cool, you know. So I'm just going to put a little bit. And then what color should we choose? Gold or green? Green and gold. Maybe we could do a little of both. Let's try this one. Maybe we could do the, the gold. Okay, so let me get this rinsed off in case we decide we want to use it. I know you can't see it, but it's over here beside me. One reason too is that um, when you do glitter paste, uh, you wanna make sure you get it cleaned off. So even so. Okay, 
Okay, let's just put this to dry here. Okay. So let's just do let's just do some stars with the gold. How about that? Stars with gold. So we've just got gesso here, and we're just gonna put a little gold paint with it. So maybe I'll. So we're just going to put a little gold paint in here. And then we're going to do one that's just paint so you can see the difference. So gesso is kind of thicker. And um, so it's going to give you that uh, raised edge, I guess, is what it's going to give you more dimension, right? Okay, so we just mix it. It kind of looks like, I don't know, mustard, kind of. Okay, so then we have the stars. And I should save the stars for the glitter paste, but we'll just, maybe we'll do both. Maybe we'll do some, some of this gold at the top. And I guess I could just end up just not talking. <laughs> Do you have any questions, anyone? It's not humid there. It's been too hot. It was hot last week too. We were in Grand Junction, Colorado. And it was, it was warm. Okay, so let's do, let's do a little green, and we'll add a little gesso to the green. There we go. And then, let's just mix, 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 mix. So if you just do the paint, you're not going to have the dimension, you'll still have the color. But with the gesso, you end up with dimension. So let's do this. Has anybody ever seen green stars before? Yeah. I know they're yellow ones and red dwarfs, right? It dries, um, yes, it, it's sort of rigid. It's very uh, sturdy, I guess I would say. Um, it's, it's a cool thing. It gives it a lot of strength um, onto your paper. All right, so let's pull this one. One thing I like with the stars too is the um, when you use glitter paste, it, it's really cool. So let's see if I can show you a little closer. It's pretty cool. So this could actually, you could almost like cut it in half and use it like a pocket or... I have been checking a lot of emails. I need to respond to them. Yes, we now have green stars. Um, I haven't been able to respond to all of them yet. Um, like I said, I have been um, nonstop, but that's no excuse. I will respond. So if you sent me an email, oh, Green Bay Packers, there you go. If you sent me an email, I will acknowledge it. I promise. And then I'm saving and downloading all the um, images that you guys send me for the challenge. Is that what it was, Debbie? Did you see I text you back? Yeah. All right. Yep. That was Green Bay Packer colors, wasn't it? <laughs> all right. 
So I do really like gesso, especially with um, junk journal pages, just because it adds dimension. But you don't you don't have to. Um, you can use paint. So let's do paint. Let's do paint. And those are over there drying right now. So we'll let them dry and we can look at them at the end. All right. Okay. All right. So let's do some paint. Now, one thing with paint and stencils, generally you're going to want to not smear it like you do um, paint, like when you're painting on something, you kind of dab it um, with a stencil brush, but you can try it just to make sure you don't um, smear it underneath the stencil. I didn't get other colors, so it looks like we're going to be stuck with these colors. So let's just do, um, I've got some writing here. We'll just try a little writing um, with the yellow. And this is a stencil brush here, so let me get it a little bit wet. All right. Are we seeing what we can see very good? Okay. So we'll see if this works with this stencil, because this stencil is pretty fine with the uh, words. And I'm not one to be very patient. I like crafts that can get done. <laughs> Does anybody else like that? Hi, Sheila. Oh, the LA Dodgers, how fun is that? Now your family's out there, right, Debbie? You've got family. So your paint's gonna have a different kind of look, a little bit. Let's see how that's coming out. Sometimes it just doesn't shine. See how it's just, you can't really tell it's writing, but it, in a way, I guess it does look like writing. So the other thing that you can do is take a brush. Let's get it a little bit wet though. Let's get it wet. And then if you, I'll show you the difference and we'll see what you like better. You'll be able to tell. much faster that way. All right. So then the, the stubble brush and you can't really tell. Okay. So we're going to put that in the bath and that is what that, I mean, I guess you can kind of tell it looks kind of like writing, but this would definitely be something you'd want in the background. Um, and then you have your stuff over it. And then also, you know, if you want just some splatters, you need a lot of water. Okay. We'll just set that aside. We'll let that kind of dry. I don't know if I... I don't know if that's the best. I think maybe what we did with the uh, translucent glitter, um, translucent crackle was probably cool. Yeah, that's what this is, a stencil brush. But you can also use a, a sponge if you have the sponge. There's a sponge brush. Yeah. Oh no, what's going on with Donna? Oh, I'm gonna be praying for you, sweetie. Okay, so let's see. 
So one thing about cleaning your stencils, you do wanna to try to clean them, if you can, pretty quick. Because I feel like this needs actually some cleaner water, but oh, there you go. All right, the other thing that I wanted to do was use the crackle paste. How many of you have used the crackle paste? Oh. Oh, I have heard of that. Um, a friend of ours tried the dewormer and uh, Grandpa did really well with it, uh, but Mom, Mom succumbed. Um, it was really, really sad. Um, but yes, that's awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's do, let's do this one with the opaque crackle paste. I think we're gonna run out of time. Okay, let's see. This one I have not opened. We have, hey Pam, we have done no math tonight, just saying, just so everybody knows. I've done no math, none, not one. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna find my, Alrighty. Yeah, that's what she did too, yeah. All right, so this is the opaque. You do have to make sure you close it. It will dry out if you don't. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, again, it's just like the gesso, and you don't need it super thick. The opaque, you can add paint to, just like gesso. And um, it this crackles, so it looks really cool. And I really like it. It's a really fun effect. So stencils are really fun. I, I don't always use them. Um, I like to do different things with backgrounds and stuff, but... Um, this one we're gonna wanna see at the end because it will dry pretty quick and then it will crackle. And this is crackle paste. This is the opaque. Am I saying that right, opaque? Okay. And if you want something that looks old, this is really cool. So we're gonna pull this off. It's gonna be just similar to the gesso and it's gonna crackle in front of our eyes as it dries. So I'm gonna take this one. Now another thing with your stencils, if you wipe it off, sometimes you can get a second image um, from it, yeah. I'm gonna set this just over here because um, it's gonna start crackling. All right, so what I'm gonna do really tightly. Now, you can put like plastic wrap underneath and I haven't tried that, but. So this is the translucent. It's a little bit different because it is These, this spatula is from Dollar Tree. These are from Crafters Companion. So where do they buy the dewormer? I wish you could find old school. But, oh, I know what you're talking about. All right, so this is, this has no color, and when it dries, I'll have to show you, I'll show you here in just a second how the master board turned out, because it's clear. So you can see it until it's completely dry. And this is supposed to crackle um, 
I used that script page on the master board and you can't really see the crackles so much with it, but it's a pretty cool master board actually. It turned out really, I like it. It's kind of like one of my favorites. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, kind of like. All right. I hope you guys are watching the chat because I have not been able to just watch it. So on Amazon, it's just plain dewormer or is it, is it a powder or is it, Hey, Denise. Okay, so let's mix that off. <laughs> Was she taking that out? <laughs> okay, so this one is the translucent. Right now, you can see it. But when it dries, you won't. This is the opaque. You can already tell the difference, right? Here's the master board from the other day. And I don't know if you can even see, you can kind of see a little bit the writing on there, but because it's translucent, you really can't. It's just taking on the colors behind it. Pretty cool master board have to say. Turned out really nice. Okay, so this one we're going to be able to see really well as it crackles. So we're going to take this translucent one, set it over here to dry. Okay, and hopefully, hopefully Hondo won't come in and do anything with it. <laughs> Okay, so another thing that you can do, this is, I, I could put, um, let's see, let me get this out of the water, um, it, or the sprays. Bye, Debbie. The master board. Um, I was trying to see if anybody would be interested. I might put on my website as a freebie. Seemed like everybody kind of liked it, so. But I haven't done it yet, so. Just FYI. Okay. All right, so I wanted to, um, let's try this. Let's try this one. So this is that script. It's a little bit wet, though. dry it a little bit more. Okay. So these are the stress oxide stains or dyes. This one is walnut stain. This one is tea dye and this one is antique linen and they're sprays, but they are water reactive also. So I thought it would be fun to do that on here. Okay, Debbie, the master board, yes. Yes, it is, um, it has to be one of my favorite ones. Yay, butterfly. So I'm just shaking it, there's ink in there. Um, I'm gonna go light, I don't know. I haven't really sprayed out of this one, it's brand new, so. Um, so I'm just gonna spray it. Hopefully it won't be too. Okay. And then, then we just wanna pick this up. And look at that. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Now, the other thing that you can do with this, though, is take a little water and it's going to change it. 
because it reacts to the water. So take a little towel. And it's kind of smearing it. So that's kind of fun too, the stains um, or spray dyes. Again, walnut stain, this is a water reactive um, and pink. Uh, pink mint ink infusion. It's just a di uh, 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 distress oxide spray. So that's pretty cool too, background. Yeah. Okay. So let me rinse this one off. Yeah, so pretty cool. Um, trying to use my water efficiently without <laughs> getting it everywhere. Uh, I didn't think about making a mess too much, did I? All right, another thing. Okay, this one will set out of the way here. I'm going to have them everywhere. This one we're gonna do um, with the glitter paste. And some of my glitter paste I haven't opened. I wanna see if it's still good. Yeah, this one's good. This one is called Fairy Lights. And by the way, if you want to, um, Crafters Companion has a lot of things um, like 60% off that are Christmas and papers and things on sale. And these are $2.49. But I do know in order to get free shipping, you do have to place a large order. Um, regular shipping, I think, is $12.95. So I don't know. You want to make it worth worth your while. And they may still have some at, um, at HSN. So anyway... You do, it's every Tuesday, except for like if I'm out of town. Okay, this is glitter paste, and so it's much thicker, and it's real glittery. So we're gonna do this, it's called Berry Kisses. We're gonna do this one here. Just put a little bit more on here. And then we'll put another color. We'll do, how about gold and purple? What do you guys think? Gold and purple. Okay. All right, so we got that. Now, one thing with the glitter paste, it is glue. So you do want to make sure you close it all the way and you want to make sure that you um, don't let it dry out. Okay. Oh, I'm almost out of purple. Shoot. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if it's 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 dried. See what happens when you get down here? It dries out. Let me see if I have another color. Just a second. <clears throat> Let's see gold and blue. Let's see if the blue is okay. They almost used all the blue too. Hold on, hold on. All right, how about gold and green? That'd be pretty. $9.95, yeah, or um, $12.95, I don't know. The Kalal glue, I mean, that keeps me coming back, I'll tell you, I love that Kalal glue. All right, so this green is really thick because I think it's on its way to drying out, but we'll just make it work. These I bought last year and I used a bunch of them up and so 
and then you can mix them. Um, I'll tell you the, the purple is so pretty. Okay, so, so we've got this green is really thick. Okay. But the glitter paste is super fun to play with. Just saying. Um, it is crafterscompanion.com. Crafterscompanion.com. Yes, in October, um, they always have, and then they do, um, the October one usually has the um, advent calendar. Yeah, it's Crafters Companion. All right, so let's see how this one does. Okay. Oh, look at these hearts. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. <gasps> at that <laughs> okay water bath okay look look I mean it's already shimmery uh, anyway the hearts are in the like the background pretty right do you like that uh, they have some on um, HSN great yeah that works out, huh, butterfly? Yes, very pretty. Very, very pretty. All right, so this is the crackle, and it is starting to crackle. I don't know if you can actually see it. I'll pull it really close. But it's starting to crackle up here. Can you see it? Yeah, it's starting to dry. Yep. All right, do we have time for one more? I think, I think we're pretty good. We've got a bunch going on over here. So we've got, we've got the crackle paste, opaque. We've got the glitter paste. We've got the ink, um, the stain. Isn't that cool, you guys? That's cool. Then we've got our gesso white. It's still pretty wet, it's thick. That's a really pretty um, stencil, don't you think? They didn't? Okay. Um, they will stock it for Christmas. This is gesso with paint. So now you know there are green stars, just so you know. Then your opaque crackle. And it's still pretty wet. It's not dried yet, but it will be almost clear. So you can actually, you actually can add some color to it on top, you know, shading and stuff. And then this is just paint, which is okay. It's not my favorite. I love playing with all this other stuff. All right, so let me rinse out this and we're gonna play a game. Is anybody up for a game? I was gonna do some shimmer inks, but we, we don't really. So we'll do that another time. Do you guys like shimmer inks? Tell me if you like shimmer inks. Who has used shimmer inks? Has anybody used shimmer inks before? I'm trying to get all this glitter paste off the stencil because it is glue, it will stick, so I don't want it to stick on especially on the design part. Just wanna get it off there. All right. Very good. Now, I'm sorry I didn't have purple for you. Um, 
Michelle. Michelle loves purple. She's a purple girl. Probably some of you also. Oh, the shimmer inks. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's play. We're going to do a drawing game today. My papers. And we haven't. Okay. Oh, don't put that in there. Can't show that to you. It's a secret. Okay, let's see. Let me back it up just a little. There we go. Oh, that might be too much. There we go. All right. <laughs> I know. Okay. So tonight I have some fun papers. They're, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, similar anyway. And I thought you might like it. A couple tickets in here. These are little tag taggy ephemera. They have, they're perforated so you can punch those out if you don't want to cut them. And then some fun papers to use on your crafting junk journal stuff. So I got three of those for tonight. I'm gonna set that out of the way. All right, are you ready? Some of these might be hard, so if you need a hint, let me know, okay? So I'm gonna start with this. Um, And then so let's see if you can guess. turning out pretty good, actually. <clears throat> Stars, no. Do I need to zoom in a little bit? Uh, maybe I do. Okay. Diamond paints, no. Salt shaker, no. But you got the shaker part. Glitter, that's right. It's glitter. I didn't know how else to do it. <laughs> it does look like a salt shaker, but doesn't glitter look like a salt shaker in a way? I mean, you know. All right. Next, are you ready? Let's see if you can get this one. Sparkle stuff, I love it. Okay. Um. So it's not this. It's this. So I thought I might help you guess. <laughs> Sprinkles for ice cream. Mm, I see where your mind is. <laughs> Do you have sprinkles in your coffee? Oh, that's right. Snowflakes. That is right. I'm just going to call it snow, though. You see, I'm thinking of something to cool me off because it's hot. <laughs> I'm already thinking. Oh, Frosties at Winter. That would cool me off for sure. Okay, so I think you can get this one. Any 
and fatty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is glue. Very good. Very good. All right. Are you ready? It is a glue bottle, theoretically, yes. Actually, it is. It is. But inside it, there's glue. Calalvo, yes. You know where my mind goes, right? Okay. All right. Let's see if you can get this. I don't know if I can do it justice, really. Um... Let's see. <laughs> oh, there you go. Phone. Yeah, pretty much. I guess I could go with that. I had um, iPad or iPhone. So I guess it could be any any one. We have time for one more. Yeah, a calculator. It does kind of look like a calculator. Maybe I don't draw very well. I don't know. Okay, let's try this last one. Um, I think I've done it before, actually. You know what that is? A phone with apps. Yep, it's not an adding machine, but it could have been. Or a calculator. Could have been. <laughs> yes, I have a bunch of apps on mine too. It's not a razor. Paintbrush. There you go. Very good. You guys are a really, really smart group. Okay. So, as we normally do, I will draw from the chat, or spin the chat, the live chat, to draw a winner. And I'm going to try to get all these in the mail by the end of the week. Okay, this is really crackling, you guys. So let's see if, if you can see it crackle. I don't know if you can. It is really faint little crackles, but they're amazing. I should I should do a little color on it, just so you can see. Hold on. Let's try with a brush. Might not be as. Let's see. Where's my ink? Well, should I do, let's 
it's not quite all the way dry, but I think it'll be all right. All right, let's see. Okay. Yeah, you can see it pretty good. I can see it. All right. So I'm just going to do it up here at the top. see it get in those little spaces. I don't know if the, the brown is the perfect color for that. Probably a blue would be better. Let's see. see it now pretty cool the crackles cool love the crackle okay so we had fun we made a bunch of stuff really cool let's spend a win and the winner is Karen Karen Schwick. now where's my new members are you still on my new members Okay, let's pick another winner, and it's Denise Levitt. Great. All right, and one more, and it is Pam Pito. Congratulations, you guys. Denise, Pam, and Karen tonight win the little packets. I'm sure you will enjoy them. And thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Let's get back. Hopefully. There we go. I wish I could just, like, do this and it would flip back, but I don't know. It doesn't really do that. <laughs> you got to see it this away. Anyways, thanks so guys. Thank you to you guys for joining tonight. I hope you had a fun time. Um, these backgrounds are really fun to play with. I'll take some pictures and put them on the community page on a post so you can see them. But um, have a wonderful evening. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And thanks for joining me tonight. Next week at Creating with Jovi Beyond. So don't miss that. All right. Thanks. Bye.